Hello everyone, in this video we will be solving problem 34A3 unique 3 digit even numbers. The problem statement is we are given an array of digits called digits. Our task is to determine the number of distinct 3 digit even numbers that we can form using these digits. In example number 1 we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and the corresponding uh, with those numbers can build a total of 12 combination of 3 digit even numbers. Similarly, in example number 2, the inputs are 0, 2, 2 and with those inputs, we can make only two combinations or three digit even numbers, which are 202 and 220. We cannot have 0 as the leading number because that will make it a two digit number instead of 3. Similarly, with example number 3, with three sixes as the input, we can only make one three digit unique number. And in example number 4, we are given 1, 3 and 5. As all of the numbers are odd, we cannot make a 3 digit even number out of it. So the output is 0. I hope you were able to understand the problem statement. Now let's switch to whiteboard and discuss these rules and how we can use it to build our solution. The simplest way to solve this problem is using 3 nested iterations where the first iteration will help us determine the digit in the 100th place of the number, the second will determine the digit in the 10th place and the third will be the digit in the units place. And if I were to represent these iterations in the number, the first iteration will help us determine the number at this position, the second iteration is for this position and the third would be for this one. And there are a couple of more rules we can use to make sure our results are valid. Starting with the first one, we cannot have zeros in this position as it is given to us in the problem statement. For the second iteration, i should not be equal to j as we can't use the same digit more than one times. So for the nested iteration, let's say if the digit at position 0 is been used by i, we cannot use that for second iteration. Similarly, for the third iteration, k cannot be equal to i or j. Along with that, we also need to make sure that d of k or digits at k position is an even number. As this iteration will help us get the number for the units place, it cannot have anything besides the even number. That is, the value can be 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8. If we use these rules to build our solution, we will be able to calculate all of the unique numbers which are 3 digit and even. With this solution, our time complexity is O of n cube because we are running three nested iterations to identify or calculate the three digit number and the space complexity is O of 1 as we are not building any additional collection during the calculation, just building the output. I hope you were able to understand this solution. Let me show you how we can implement this using C sharp. Here is my C sharp solution. I have initialized a hash set variable called set which will be used to maintain all of the output that we are building and then start an outer for loop for i. The first check is to make sure that the digit that i is pointing at is not a zero. If it is, then I am not starting any of the nested iterations. I then initialize another nested iteration for the pointer j. The first check is to make sure j is not equal to i. And then I have the third iteration for k that is the units place. Just like we discussed, I have the first check to make sure k is not equal to i or j. I am then checking if the digit that k is pointing is it an even number. If it is even, then I am building my number and saving that number to the set. Once the, all of these nested iterations are done, I am returning the count of the set. This code when submitted on lead code reads nearly 45% of the submissions in terms of runtime and 55% in terms of memory. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you were able to understand this explanation. The link to the code is available in the description below. Feel free to check that out and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.